Hey, it's Jacqueline Pennington here, and today I'm here with Megan Johnson, a resident social media guru. Um, that's what I like to call her. For most people, you would know her as someone who specializes in business and social media marketing, as well as provides coaching services. Uh, Megan has a vast background and uh, does a lot of work in terms of supporting people like me that run small businesses and coaching us how to get the most out of our social media and how to market with purpose. So thank you for being here today, Megan. Thank you for inviting me. It's great to be here. Awesome. Yeah, so we're just going to take a little bit of time today to talk a bit about some things that we should or shouldn't be doing as it relates to social media. Obviously, as it relates to COVID-19, we are very much in a changing world. Um, so just to talk a little bit about that. So let's get started. First and foremost, should we be posting right now as it relates to our social media accounts specifically around business? Um, we should definitely be showing up. There's two reasons for that. The first reason is everybody is really interested in how people are coping right now. And I think everybody is kind of checking in on each other, even if it's just that they see that you are posting. So I think if you like were to do five to seven days of not posting without even realizing it, people start to get a little bit nervous that they're not seeing you and they're not having that regular touchstone of your content. So the way that you are posting should be slightly different than what you were doing before, but definitely continue to post. The other side of that too is nobody really has that much to do. We're all stuck at home. We've got different things going on around the house, but we're on social media a lot more than we normally are. So this is a really great time to get in front of people and to be a part of that community, which is really fantastic. So I mean, on average, I would be seeing within the first hour, because I spend the first hour after I post something on, on social media, especially Instagram, and normally I would see between two to 300 people have viewed it within that first hour. Now I'm seeing five to up to 900 people seeing my post within the first hour and seeing the posts that I'm posting for other accounts within that first hour. So it's showing me that everybody is on and people are checking it a lot more. So this is a really great opportunity and, and we have the time to do it. Okay. Yeah. So you mentioned, um, I think that's a great point. And one thing in terms of, obviously we have a lot of eyes on social media right now, but we're also in a very different landscape and there's a lot of people out there that are really stressed and struggling with things. So from your perspective, what are the things that we should be focusing on posting? And alternatively to that, what are the things that we should not be posting right now? So the one thing I would strongly recommend people kind of shift out of doing is those very um, sales driven posts. So whether it's a product or a service or yourself, because let's say you're a real estate professional, instead of doing those posts that are really letting people know how they can support your business, how they can, can, how you're selling something really switch to more of like an information way of putting things. So normally we would do, five, three to five to seven posts of information or what's going on. And then we would do one very salesy post, get rid of those sales posts and just focus on what kind of information you can be giving to people to really let them know about who you are, not necessarily exactly what your services are or what you offer or the product that you offer, but really who you are, who your company is, what your brand stands for. Give them all of that information. The other thing to start posting is really get deep into how you're doing. Let people know. Let people know that they're not alone with feelings of overwhelm or things that are going wrong. You can do it in a fun, lighthearted way. You can do it through your stories. Jacqueline, you do amazing with this, with showing people what's going on behind the scenes with you right now, what's going on with your kids, that sort of an idea. And those are the things to post because it brings that positivity, that little bit of lightheartedness. It shows everybody that we're all in this together and we're all going through the same thing. It's okay to have those days that you're kind of like, what is happening? And just bringing that little bit of levity to the situation. But I think the most important thing for your business throughout all of this is to really let people know exactly who you are, what you stand for, what your brand stands for. So that when we come on the other side of this, people have a much better understanding of exactly who you are and exactly what it is that you offer so that you're in the front of mind when we come around this. Okay, 
Awesome. Yeah. So in terms of kind of to sum it up, definitely focusing more on creating content, providing knowledge and information that people can use right now, like we're doing right now, um, finding ways to personally connect with people. Um, obviously, how we can support our community. I'm a huge supporter of, of anything that we can do in that um, and staying away from sales. I know you and I share the same opinion on this. I've seen a lot of salesy posts. I've seen posts where people are lifting homes for sale and hashtagging it COVID-19, if you can believe it. And, you know, I think in terms of kind of, this is going to show our community, you know, who's in the business for the reasons that they should be. And in terms of kind of what small businesses are coming together to support and help one another. So I think that's very well said. Um, so with that in mind, obviously there's a lot of small and medium businesses right now that are really reevaluating the way in which, you know, myself included, we spend money and we invest in our business. Um, so in terms of kind of from your perspective, any tips on how to save money or what to spend your money on if you're still having a budget as it relates to social media? So some low cost things that we can be doing to improve our engagement on social media um, during this period of time. So I like to think of social media as it's a free platform, okay, but you always have to pay to use it. So there's two ways that you can pay. You can pay with money or you can pay with time. So normally when we're really short on time, we are more than happy to pay with money, whether it's to get someone to manage the account for us, or if it's to spend on boosted ads, posts, that sort of a thing. So right now, instead of spending money, we need to all be spending our time really wisely on it. So what this entails is, yes, you want to be posting. I would say especially on your stories because it's that behind the scenes and it lets people in, which is what we all kind of need right now to feel that, that connection. So there's some time you're spending on it. But then also think about doing outreach. So not only do you want to reach out to your current audience, but you want to reach out to other audiences that you would be targeting as your perfect audience and then really go to them and speak to them in comments through their DMs. So if you're watching some stories, so let's say you want to pick a location, like let's say you pick Northumberland or Coburg and you go in there, you want to go through some of the posts and ones that resonate with you that you think would benefit your community that could be a target audience for you down the road. You want to leave a thought provoking comment that shows that you've actually spent the time to read what they've written um, and you're involving yourself in it. You can also go through the stories that have been posted. Um, a lot of the stay home ones would be a great one right now, checking on the stay home for COVID and really reaching out to people and just letting them know that you're in the same boat, that sort of an idea, sending them a DM. It's that second level connection that you can get with people. So normally you would be doing, and this is really more targeted to Instagram because it's a lot easier to reach a broader audience on Instagram than it is on Facebook organically. So spending that time instead of spending the money on the ads to really get in with a different audience and to grow your account. Also, the second hand that goes with that is the more time that you actually spend on Instagram, the more that Instagram will kind of boost your posts organically without any money because they're giving you points for actually spending more time on the app. That's what Instagram wants. That's what their algorithm is looking for. The more time that you spend on the app and the more time that other followers spend actually looking at your account is going to help your posts reach a greater audience because Instagram knows that you're actually there and interacting with people. And at the end of the day, they just want to keep people on the app. Yeah, those are some great tips. I think all of us are probably on Instagram a little bit more these days than usual. So nice to see that there might be some residual benefits coming from all that screen time. Um, so any other tips or tricks or words of advice that you would share with people in terms of kind of things around social media and what to do and not to do during this time? I think even we especially don't have necessarily the largest budgets right now to be spending on ads and boosted posts, especially on Facebook. But I actually go one step further. Even if you have the money right now to be spending on boosted posts, it's not necessarily the best message to be putting out there, especially if they're sales posts that you're kind of putting out there. There might be some, like I've seen some people that have done like free webinars and they're putting those out as a sponsored post and you see sponsored posts right under it if you actually put a budget towards it. And when it's a free webinar for right now, that kind of makes sense because they're offering some form of like entertainment or knowledge for people. But if it's you actually selling a product, a house, a service, anything like that, 
by having that sponsored underneath it, even if you have the budget for it, it doesn't really put the best message out there. And I think with so many people being in such a financial kind of trauma at the moment and not really sure what's happening with that, I think it'll put extra pressure on people and you could actually negatively impact your brand. So I, even if you have the budget for it, I would strongly suggest that you kind of think about if this is the right message to be putting out that you are sponsoring this post. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point. You know, very much taken to heart. Obviously, I'm on the same page with you on that. And you know, your advice as it relates to that in terms of kind of, again, and the world has changed and it is changing. And we need to be very conscious of, um, you know, what we're saying out there in terms of the social media space. So thanks again for joining me. So if you have any questions for Megan, uh, I invite you to comment below. And also, where can they find you on social media to connect with you directly? I'm at Megan Johnson, so M-E-G-A-N-J-O-H-N-S-O-N dot C-O. Okay, awesome. Thanks again, and you take care, stay safe, and uh, be healthy.